Most importantly, we will live up. Most importantly, we will live up. Most most importantly, we will live up to our character as a nation. That's 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 exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. That's why we're here. That is. What we're we agree that we need to pass the PS before at the same time. We, you have a power to be, stop deportation for all of that. Actually, I don't. And, and that's why we're here. I need your help. Okay. Stop deportation! Stop deportation! Stop deportation! Thank you. All right. What I'd like to do... No, no, don't worry about it, guys. Okay, let me finish. Let me, let, let me... How about... We, these guys don't need to go. Let me finish. No, no, no. Let, 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 you, can, you can stay there. Let, 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 let me... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, you know, I, I respect the passion of these young people because they feel deeply about the concerns for their families. Now, what you need to know when I'm speaking as President of the United States, and I come to this community, is that if, in fact, I could solve all these problems without passing laws in Congress, then I would do so. But we're also a nation of laws. That's part of our tradition. And so the easy way out is to try to yell and pretend like I can do something by violating our laws. And what I'm proposing is the harder path, which is to use our democratic processes to achieve the same goal that you want to achieve. But it won't be as easy as just shouting. It requires us lobbying and getting it done.